Welcome back to a new exciting video. Uh, today, or in this video, I will be discussing how to perform uh, a test on your web server for denial of service attack. So we're going to be using Python, Security Onion, and Kali Linux. So this is going to be a very practical uh, video. And in this video, guys, we will be testing a web server running on Security Onion. So here in Security Onion, uh, first I have Wireshark. As you can see, Wireshark is running and sniffing on uh, the network interface Ethernet 0 uh, to listen on all the packets that is coming on the machine. All right. So we want to listen on all incoming traffic coming from the attackers. That's how we will dissect the denial of service attack. Second, I have the terminal here. And in the terminal, I have allowed, I have typed sudo su allow to allow traffic or incoming traffic on port 443, 22, and 7734. So I can, you know, do a denial of service attack testing. Of course, uh, here on KL Linux, we have, we have the small script to do that, but this script is not intended and is not meant to perform on uh, hosts you don't own, all right? This is very low testing, very low level script. You can use it to test your own web server, but it cannot be used effectively, I'm telling you guys, it cannot be used, used effectively to launch a large scale attack on external hosts, right? You're gonna need many bots, you're gonna need many IP addresses. This is for the purpose of, uh, you know, penetration testing and security analysis. Okay, so first, Let's go over the script and see what it does. So first we import SCABY, you know, you know the network module, and here we tell the, the prompt or the, uh, the analyst to enter the source IP address. The source IP address is this IP address of the machine that is doing the test, which is your Akali address. Next we have the target, here your target IP address, which is the IP address of the web server in our case. So here to make sure our configuration are all correct, let's make sure that the web server is running on security onion. We type HTTPS and the IP address of security onion and we enter and we hit the first page or the web page of security onion. Let's get back. Okay, now here we ask the inputs for the source port. In our case, it's gonna be 443, all right? Now here we enter the while loop. Now in the while loop, as you can see here, we instruct Python to send packets to the web server on port on the input port 443. And here we calculate the packet and we send it. Now, if we were to test this, let's run the script and see the response from the web server and analyze it in Wireshark. So we type sudo python ddos. Enter the source IP address 192.168, which is my IP. The target security only IP. Report of three. Okay, now it's sending the packets. Let's go back and see Wireshark. As you can see, I have incoming traffic coming from my IP address, the attacking IP. You see, the source is my attacking IP and the destination is security onion, and the transmission is done via TCP, and it is going on and on and on. So now, we have kind of low-level uh, denial of service attack. So now we, we need to leave this running for a while to test if the web server we have on security onion can handle this load, right? Let's go back, go to security, go to the web browser and try to open the page. So, so far it's all good. Oh, as you can see now, I'm experiencing some delay on the web server, but it has opened. Let's open again. So there is some delay on the web server, uh, actually, as a result of the denial of service attack, but it is so far it's doing fine. Okay. Now, if we were to increase the level of this attack, let's stop this. 
and go back to the script. And let's increase the iteration. Let's put here, let's say, one, right? We increase the size of the packet. And let's see how the server handles that. 1, 6, 8, 9, 4, 1, 6, 8, 9, 4, 4, 3. OK, back to security on and see the size of the packet. Let's go up. And previously here, let's go down. Okay, let's examine one of them. Let's stop the capture and examine one of them. UTCP, uh, what was this? Okay. So it's a zero bytes. Let's examine, uh, let's go up, 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 up. Okay, let me continue the uh, capture. Okay, let's go back to the server, try to access. So far is fine. Actually, one IP address is not sufficient to overload the web server, right? So we may need to do that for multiple IP addresses. So we are experiencing some minimal delay, as you can see, as a result of that, but it's doing fine. Okay, let's stop this and go back to our script. And here, let's put um, five. All right. Let's go back and send. Six four four three. Okay. Let's see here. Let's remove the filter. So I'm receiving now in, as you can see, the same number of packets, but with lower speed. Uh, hmm. Okay. Let's go back to security on it and see the handle on the server. So now it's doing fine, right? All right. Let's go back to the script and do some change. Hey, hey, stop. Here, let's type 0 0.00. Ten. Uh, right. Okay, let's try this. Let's go back. Okay, this is my you know, uh, manual. I'm looking for some stuff here. Okay, let's get back to the T. Uh, okay. All right, let's go back here and try to do that again. Uh, uh. <laughs> Open. Okay, it's doing fine with some minimum delay, as you can see. All right. Now, if you get back, so suppose that we want, uh, as you can see, this script does stress testing on web servers, but you can customize it 
to do it on uh, SSH server, FTP server, let's change the port, right? And he put the destination port, actually it should be 443. Change it to 22, 21, 25, according to the, um, the server or the service you are stress testing, right? Let me do here something, put, um, let's say nine, and try again. For three. Oop. Again, the attack resumes. <laughs> so now, as you can see, it's on TCP port 443. Right? Let's go back and try to access this guy. So far, it's doing fine. But if you were to launch this attack, guys, from multiple machines, I am sure that the web server will stop being able to handle the request. <laughs> so this script, you can start uh, running this script from one machine and then multi multiply it on over like uh, many machines, right? But you can do how to how to customize the script to um, you know run the script from multiple IP addresses on the same port. Here we need to remove this part, the target IP, right? And we then, right, we put like a for loop and iterate over the selected IP addresses. But on my current settings, I have only one machine to test it from, right? And you're, in, your, in your case, if you have multiple machines or multiple IP addresses available at your disposal, all you have to do is to do for loop and I treat over all those IP addresses and keep everything the same in the script. Okay. Now, I think that's it. If you want, if you want also to run this script over multiple ports, all we have to do here is to do um, for loop, right? We do for, and we defined, let's say, for source port in, Let's say from port one all the way to port six, five, right? And we start testing on multiple ports, but you need to remove that because in this case, you are testing against multiple ports and you don't need the user input anymore, right? Okay, I hope this was helpful and informational. And if you like this guys, hit the subscribe button and thank you so much.